Open water swimming is a very different skill than pool swimming. You have a lot of differences in things like choppy water, dark water, deep water, not being able to see where you're going, no line on the bottom of the pool. But this can be overcome with several different methods. And if you want to find out, stay right here because we're going to dive into how to beat swim anxiety. Have you ever been on the swim and had a panic attack? In the water is the worst place you could possibly have a panic attack. We're going to cover beating swim anxiety. What is swim anxiety anyway? Things that bring on a swim anxiety, deep water. A lot of people do most of their swimming in a pool and when they get out into the open water, they are now in water where they can't see the bottom. To some people that mysteriousness of what's below you causes anxiety. Another one is dark water. There's times where I put my arm in the water and I can't even see my hand out in front of me. Another is rough water. Other swimmers in the water, possibility of being punched or hit or kicked. That's that's always a possibility when you're in open water swimming. Time cutoffs, time cutoffs are always an anxiety problem. Then the last thing, the one that causes a lot of anxiety is sea critters. What are sea critters? Well, sea critters go everywhere from stingrays, alligators, to snakes, to sharks. When it comes to stingrays, by the time we get in the water, those guys are all cleared out. Oh, and I forgot the other one. I forgot one, jellyfish. Jellyfish is really the biggest issue that we may have. Their sting is really, really nasty. But the two biggies, first off, sharks. If you look at how many swimmers actually enter the water every single day with zero shark attacks, shark attacks are not something to really get anxious about. Yes, I understand there is the anxiety. It is brought on by that horribly false movie back in the 70s. As far as gators go, gators clear out. They're ambush hunters. They hunt the murky edge of water. I don't put much anxiety, much problems at all with the sea critters that way. With that said, let's talk about the actual anxiety of the swimming. There are some steps we're gonna to take to acclimate ourselves to open water. Let's just say that you're going to a race and you're gonna go into an open water swim and you've never been in that swim before. What we're gonna to try to do is we can get there early enough and get to a beach a day or two ahead of time, or even if there's a practice swim, you can get in there and you can take these steps that we're gonna talk about to acclimate yourself to open water swimming. The best way to acclimate to open water swimming is to open water swim swim in your training. But what we're going to do is when we get to our location, we are going to get in the water. We're going to gradually wade out into the water. We're going to let the water come up to about our waist level. We're going to then take and lay back on our back and we're going to just put our arms out and we're going to float. We're going to tighten our core. We're going to bring our legs up. We're going to float. Just lay there and float and relax in the water. Let the, let the waves move you a little bit. Just close your eyes if you have to and enjoy the fact that you're laying there buoyant in the water. It's really easy with a wetsuit in salt water. That buoyancy just shows you how much you're going to float in the water versus you thinking you're going to sink. Take your time. There's no rush on this. You have to acclimate at your pace. Play in the surf. Take and do some body surfing if you have to and feel how the water moves you. But just play. Just get out there and just play in the water and get acclimated to the surf, to the swells, to the waves. If you're in a freshwater lake, get used to the buoyancy. Once you're used to that, we're gonna walk into about shoulder depth and you are now getting used to being in a little bit deeper water. Let's take your, put your face down in the water with your goggles on and just look around and see how it is. If you got a snorkel, this really works great with a snorkel, put the snorkel on. Just keep walking around, looking around at the bottom, see where your feet are, see what's on the bottom. Just. Get used to that depth, that pressure on your chest. Once you've done that, you wanna take and float face forward on the water. Well, this works really great with the snorkel. Do the exact same thing you did in the shallow water face up, but do it face down in the deeper water. Don't swim, you're just gonna sit there and you're going to let your body acclimate to the water in the depth. Once you're done with that, you're gonna bob up and down, go underwater, bump, 
blow bubbles. Just play around in the deeper water and get yourself used to being in the deeper water. Now, another way you can help yourself to get acclimated to open water swimming is to train with a group. Go find an organized open water swimming group. Do a little research on the internet. You could probably find something in your area or bring a friend to walk along the beach with you. Never swim, ever, ever, ever swim open water swimming alone. You can actually swim in the shallower water. In the ocean, this could be an issue because you might be inside the, the surf break and you could get tossed around a little bit, but you can find a place where you can swim, where you can actually stand up and put your feet on the bottom. But go ahead and do that and you will be able to feel a little bit more comfortable if you stay in water that you can stand up and gradually you'll be able to work farther and farther out as you build confidence. Another way that you can acclimate to the open water is to not think about it. And what do I mean by that? How can you not think about it? Swim hard, put hard intervals into your swim, push yourself to swim fast for a certain length of time, go in, stand on the shore, get back out, swim another two minutes as hard as you can, three minutes as hard as you can. That'll occupy your mind, take your thought pattern off of the fact that you're swimming in open water and onto the fact that you're pushing really hard. Now, a couple of things you're going to want to have, then these will help with the anxiety of open water swimming also. One of them is a bright yellow, orange, something really bright as a swim cap. This way you will be able to be spotted off the shore. And the other thing you want to have is a swim buoy. This one's a play try, it's a blue 70. A lot of different companies have this exact same swim buoy. You blow it up and you hook it to yourself right here with this clip and you tow it behind you. You won't even feel it. It'll be somewhere between your waist and your knees and you won't, and it'll float behind you. And if you get in a situation where you're panicking or you just need to stop and you are in water deeper than you can touch, you can grab onto this, you can float on it. So this is a must. Links are gonna be in the description below for anything that I point out to you and go ahead and pick yourself up a, a swim buoy if you're gonna do open water swimming. The other thing you might wanna have is a wetsuit. Many places around the world, you never get out of wetsuit weather. Pick yourself up a wetsuit. This is a Sumerpo. This wetsuit here, I'll have a link in the description, but this wetsuit right here is made totally completely bio i absolutely love this wetsuit i've never swam in anything quite as nice as this one before when it comes to swim anxiety the next thing we're going to cover is swim anxiety during the race and how we're going to do that is we're going to watch this video right here this is coach john boom i'm out <laughs>